We're just told to be very quiet. No, I was, I was like, are they told them to be quiet? This is going to be really uncomfortable if we're up here like singing and dancing and you guys are like, I know. And they're like, stone, stone face, nothing. So he was there for that. And he was also there, actually, he was also there on the very first day when we do kind of a table read. Um, and he had made a cameo. Get these parts in the books. I'm sorry if I'm boring you guys. Um, he had made a cameo in the movie Camp. Yes, no! I was going to bring it up. Camp. <laughs> <laughs> um, he made a cameo in the movie Camp. Uh, so we had met very briefly, but you know, he had seen the movie and it's like, so he knew my face. And when uh, we did the first day on the little night music, he walked over to me. I was feeling like, super intimidated by the people playing um, Petra and Anna and Henry because they're kind of the, the older cool kids. And uh, I was 17 at the time. And he walked over and kind of in front of everyone was like, Anna, it's nice to see you again. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so I, got, I felt like the cool kid. Like, like I was like at the, at the cool lunch table. Um, uh, yeah. And, yeah. Um, so I think the most scandalous part in your whole book Oh, is when you talk about how you auditioned for Star Search and you didn't get on the show. I mean, I think, I feel like, <clears throat> maybe I'm gonna say this and you guys will be like, yeah, no, we didn't do that. Um, like any little kid that was growing up at that time that could kind of sing or kind of dance or whatever, like put themselves on video and sent it into Star Search. No? Okay. <laughs> um, just me then. Um, yeah, but it wasn't like I like was there and they were like, get out of here. I just like sent in a videotape and then like nothing happened. Wait, what Aww. was your song? <laughs> <laughs> it was tomorrow for Annie, okay? What did you okay? <laughs> I've been basic my whole life. <laughs> uh, do you have a go to karaoke song? Or is it like if like Michael Jordan just rolled up to like your sh poops shooting and like no, dumped that? No, I don't really do karaoke, but I I will think that "Hit Me with Your Best Shot" is a song I know better than I do. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she has a new book coming out next week, so uh, oh, I weird. Think, I think you, you know, your rival. We're going on. rivaling in, in the title title category. Are those titles though? Because that's essentially saying she's an Oscar, Golden Globe, and Tony loser. Uh, every time, <laughs> nominee, nominee, nominee. I'm like, oh. It's, it's... What is the weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? <laughs> tonight, it was tonight. <laughs> it was one of you guys. Uh, two. Two or, two or three days ago, I did a, a like a little uh, meet and greet, and a, there was this little girl, super cute, and um, she had like dark black hair, and she was really sweet, and she smiled, and as she walked away, she said, I'll be praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> what did she do? Because here's the thing, it sort of says more about me that I took offense to that, or like thought that it was weird, because she could just be like a super sweet girl who's like, I just pray for people and you seem nice and I'm gonna keep you in my prayers or whatever. But I was like, 
Did you just put a curse on me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's now. something that happens to you before the girl crawls out of the TV. <laughs> well, and at least here in the South, when people say I'll pray for you, they don't mean it in a nice way. <laughs> it's like when they're like, oh, bless your heart. That's they not nice that. They don't mean that. <laughs> Somebody uh, asked me this the other day, and I would not tell my younger self anything. She didn't deserve to know. You know she was like, just a pretentious little brat. And, you know, uh, life has to kick your ass a little bit. And that's, um, that's like the only reason I'm not completely insufferable. So, um, I ever snuck into a movie and forced me to sneak across the hall into Iron Man. <laughs> and I hated that movie because I was so stressed out the entire time. I was like, was anybody else like really panicking? <laughs> Just me. Um, and, then I, and then I met um, Robert Downey Jr. and John Favreau, and I like confessed. <laughs> The idea that I spent, you know, 18 and, and definitely part of 19 going like, I would love to get a job and I would love something to happen and I would, you know, love to be able to uh, tell people something is, is like, so you had a couple years where things weren't going great. And, but while I was in it, it seemed like terrifying and also humiliating. Like I took it so personally and I... And I worried about it so much, and I had I'd really forgotten how present that fear was, and how and how real the um, insecurity was, not just uh, to the people that were not hiring me, but the people that I had to like tell about it. And I'm sure that everybody everybody who's ever like gone through a breakup and then had like, oh, how's Mark? Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Some of the references were very, very obscure. Like, we had an amazing team around us. So, yeah, the movie is definitely uneven, but, um, like, such an amazing experience. Well worth seeing very early, and, and I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. There you go. Bitch! <laughs> Thank you. you ever got to having like a group of neighborhood friends um, and you know because it's basically as you said like a bunch of musical theater nerds running amok at a summer camp um, would you mind telling us like a story from that time like one of your favorite memories um, that it was my one experience like having a full-on intense crush on a guy who was obviously gay but I didn't get it <laughs> But it was it was it was really sad though because like he wasn't out and so he was like yeah totally uh, but let's take it slow. Uh, so there were like we like listened to Nora Jones in his bunk bed. <laughs> which should have been the first tip off. Like incredibly handsome, well-groomed. And was like, yeah, you seem not threatening. Uh, I've got a crush on you. <laughs> was that what you wanted? Yes, yeah, what I wanted. I question, what should I ask you that I haven't? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I've been talking about myself. I have, I, I have, now I feel like. I've been talking about myself here. this whole time. I've been talking about myself for weeks. What do you want? I don't know. Someone, like the like secret. Who, you, who has like a good secret? That Chloe thoughts. What? Yeah. That Chloe thoughts. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I re I really hope that we just go there. <laughs> the uh, this is um for those of you who don't know. Uh, Becca and Chloe are like total lesbians for each other. Yes, they are. And uh, we've been kind of writing the like tension for a while, and that's really fun. And I think both of us are just like, are we gonna have sex or what? <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. That's a really specific, that's a really specific, guys. In theory, you want the really physical role, because you're like, yeah, I'll get a trainer, and they'll like, make me, I'll get so buff, and then you remember that you still actually have to do it. Right. <laughs> and that would suck. So, um, yeah, I think I always trick myself into thinking that I would 
actually want to like you know do fight scenes and like get ripped. Um, and then I realized I'm very lazy, so I don't actually want to do that. <laughs> I always wonder about the. Oh, you're a bed maker. Oh, I'm a bed maker. Yeah, yeah I actually trained my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I cannot do it. It's one of those things, like, some, I, I, I will try. I, I, every now and then I will give it another try. And, and within a couple of days, I'm like, why am I doing this? What is it, what is it all about? I'm just going to get in the bed and mess it up again, then wake up, and then I'm going to be dead. <laughs> just to... It hadn't been a really bad week. If I've been having a really bad week privately, and that uh, is the only thing that's really making me feel better, is um, knowing that uh, I was going to be able to interact with people who'd also had a bad week. Because uh, I just want everyone to be miserable. <laughs> I can't be sincere for more than three seconds without freaking out. Um, so, in this section, you talk a lot about your early dating experience and. Um, you write about how when you were 19, you hadn't yet had a serious boyfriend. And so you did what any girl would do. You went out there and you bought a book called The Guide to Getting It On. <laughs> yes. Was that book helpful for you? <laughs> Never had any complaints. <laughs> that that was a real book. <laughs> and uh, so I pulled it off the shelf <laughs> and, uh, and sent her a picture and was like, still have it. <laughs> Is it all like dog-eared and stuff? Does it like flip open to the like page? so well-worn? Yeah. 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 Um, no, I mean, you know, the spine is broken. But um, it's like an encyclopedia. It's a large book. Well, it's just to find out. It's important. Yeah. Um, so, and I genuinely did, like, with my first boyfriend, I was like, I'm gonna do that thing from the book. <laughs> so scholarly of you. Um, How often have you become best friends with your fans after a book reading? <laughs> We know some great Seattle bars. Um, almost every single time. <laughs> so many best friends you guys. Um, uh, I don't know, let's start tonight, I guess. <laughs> so in one movie role, any time in history, any, well, any time in cinema history, any country, you would desperately, desperately want to play. Um, you can be multiple if you have more than one. Uh, oh, I really, really wanted to be um, Jack Kelly in Newsies. <laughs> feeling to know that um, we're all flawed and working on it. I'm, I'm not working that hard on it. I'm pretty lazy, but <laughs> like I'm that, working like on that, it like in the background. Like that BuzzFeed editor that's like, yeah, Anna's sometimes here, Anna's I'm last the BuzzFeed editor. Tweets. Love BuzzFeed. <laughs> Thanks, guys. But Please don't turn on me yet. Um, can you talk about, you know, you mentioned a couple of sort of your most memorable moments, uh, like either the sort of shining moment or yeah. the dead body moment. I don't know if you want to speak to either of those. Well, I mean, uh, um, and like they start the camera at the top of the pile and it's Kristen and Robin and they like pan down the whole, ah! and uh, we all got kind of like sprayed in blood before we, uh, before we got into position, and then apparently there wasn't enough blood, so like a guy in like straight up flannel and hiker boots like gets on top of this <laughs> pile of dead people and um, pours blood like with a bucket. 
Um, and it was the greatest day because I just had to like sit there and be like, oh, it's dripping on me, don't blink. Oh. Yeah, my job is so hard. You mentioned dating a guy who couldn't give you an orgasm for months. <laughs> Why on earth did you put out your ass? Ask your, oh, I'm so sorry. And, um, you know, I think you just gotta go 